I am happy to be alive. I really love my job and I'm very excited to see you. Yes. My name is Valentine, or at Color Me Val, and we are just kicking off Queen's Wednesday. So we just had our first link with Joy, Auntie Hilda, and I. And I told you, like I promised, we're going to talk about FGM today. That is female genital mutilation. I have a very beautiful queen here with me, and we are going to take off this conversation. So if you got questions, what you should do, Y254 on Facebook, at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Y in the morning. Let's get to it. Good morning. Good morning. What, give me sauce. Come on. I just gave you a big, big good morning. Come on. Good morning. Yay. Now smile for the camera and tell them who you are. Yes, my name is Antonia. I'm coming from Germany and I'm working uh, on FGM. Mm -hmm. What is Zinduka? And why Zinduka? Why that name? Zinduka. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zinduka. It means like the shimmer of hope and mm -hmm. like waking up, coming to realization. How did you know that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I'm in Kenya since uh, 2011. Mm -hmm. I came the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I learned a little bit of uh, Swahili, uh -huh. Kidogo Kidogo, yes. <laughs> so uh, I was told that name and I really liked it, mm -hmm. yeah. So what does Zenduka do for us? Zenduka is uh, an uh, organization, mm -hmm. a charitable organization. I founded it first in Germany mm -hmm. and also now in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And we work against FGM. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, we work to empower the girls and uh, mm -hmm. to save them from female genital mutilation in Korea. In why specifically in Korea? In why? Yeah. Because I came there in 2011 and uh, I did an like a project with an NGO mm -hmm. and it was also concerning FGM mm -hmm. and I met that community and I just went back there. Magic. Yes. <laughs> like it's home, yeah? Yes. Oh yes. my gosh, we have a Kenyan guy, it's an ordinary Kenyan. Yes. I want to know what is the one thing about female genital mutilation that that made you feel like, hey, you, you need to check on this, you need to fix yes. this, like Africa needs to change. What made you feel like that? When I first came, I didn't know anything about female genital mutilation. Mm -hmm. Like I'm coming from Germany and Europe, but it's not being practiced. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met this culture and I saw how people are, mm -hmm. are celebrating it and how girls are suffering from it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this is, I, I could not believe it. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to work on it and I wanted to show them that it's also possible to grow up and be educated uh, without going through that cut. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're telling me it's cutting season. First of all, who says that at the cutting season? My guy. Oh my gosh. All right, so what happens in cutting season? In cutting season, this is in Korea right now. Mm -hmm. um, right now? Right now. Well, I'm thinking right about now. Christmas. Someone is, yes. oh some, gosh. Some people are cut, being cut right uh -huh. now. Yes, it's the period of uh, where the girls are being cut mm -hmm. and also the men. And it's, it's d uh, like in every tribe it's different, mm -hmm. but right now the in Korea it's uh, in every December, every two years. Mm -hmm. So in 2016 it was being practiced and right now it's also, yes. Uh -huh. hey. Wow, it's like graduation, like every other couple of years yes. you have a new yes. batch. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Why Kenya? Why not Tanzania? Why not Rwanda? Why Kenya. not? Kenya. Mm. Yeah, I I don't know. I like I came because I chose a program mm -hmm. and it dealt it dealt with FGM. Mm -hmm. So it was just it just took me to Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of that program. Did you believe yes. the stereotypes on TV that can that generally Africans are just, you know, they're sitting there hungry. There's a child somewhere crying with a fly right about on their nose. Did you believe that's what you're going to see in, in Kenya? In <laughs> no, no. Really? Yeah. You no. have such an open mind. I like it. <laughs> I <laughs> really you. do. Thank you. Okay, yeah. so do you guys have events or things like that? Do you fundraise money? How do you help these people who are... Yes, it's completely fundraising. Mm -hmm. And I've, like in Germany, I'm studying. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do all this work as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. And um, we like... I talk to a lot of organizations and people and, and they, are, they are giving out their donat donations. Mm -hmm. And now in here in Kenya, we have a, um, we have a team and we give uh, a lot of classes to community members throughout the whole year. Mm -hmm. 
and not only we on, we don't only work during now this cutting season mm -hmm. we have been working for a long time mm -hmm. sensitizing on fgm mm -hmm. and uh, yeah we work with with all the people who are concerned not only girls also uh, boys and parents and the That's elders smart, yeah. yeah it's it's very important to work with all of them mm -hmm. so and right now we have a rescue camp where the girls are like mm -hmm. we we mobilized them and uh, we registered a lot of girls. We have 160 girls wow. right now. Mm -hmm. And they are. we have them for the whole period mm -hmm. until Christmas. And then uh, they are going to have a ceremony which is called the Alternative Rite of Passage. Altern so what happens there? There they, now, like now they have been educated mm -hmm. the whole time. And this cer ceremony is an alternative to the cut. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, some people undergo the cut because they want to have presents. Mm -hmm. Like I had a girl who wanted to be cut last week because she, wa she wanted to have new shoes. So. Be baby, do you want me to buy for your new shoes? You don't yes. have to get cut. Eh, for real? Yes. Yes. Oh. So it's also a big thing of poverty. Mm. Yeah. And uh, on this ceremony, the girls are getting the, um, they get the also the their celebration of growing up, of becoming an adult, and mm -hmm. that we don't want them to miss something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did she eventually get her shoes? Excuse me? Did she get her shoes? Uh, she's going to get her shoes, <laughs> oh, yes. Merry Christmas, babe. She, we, we, are, we were able to save her, and oh. she will get the shoes. <laughs> Yay. Don't get cut, babe, okay? All right. So in the beginning of the show, we had a link and were three of us and they were letting me know that, that it's kind of considered culture because okay today's Jamahori Day happy Jamahori Day yes. again and independence for our girls hey <laughs> and it's Queen's Wednesday hey the stars have aligned okay so there are people in the society who think FGM is part of our culture who think FGM is not something that we should give up just like that mm -hmm. that it's it's the western world kind of messing up our or train of thought. How do you deal with people who are so set in stone to not hear you out, to not open them? Yes, with them, like me as a Mzungu. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kwanzaa, I yeah, <laughs> you're just. Uh, hey. I can't, I can't really deal with them. Uh -huh. And you know, I and also it's 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 a culture, mm -hmm. and I can't come and I can't can't forbid the culture. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to just sensitize them mm -hmm. and not. I'm like I'm I'm not coming to forbid them their culture mm -hmm. and actually the culture is very nice mm -hmm. I really like the culture mm -hmm. and uh, yeah but the problem is on FGM that mm -hmm. it's it has a lot of bad side effects so um, we are just giving out the information mm -hmm. on educating them and actually my Kenyan team is working very well mm -hmm. and they really do a good job on that where yeah. did you find your team how did you assemble it's I have been working with them for a long time mm -hmm. and they all it's people from within the community mm -hmm. who also want to end FGM. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So are there people that you have met who have undergone the cut and now are trying to help girls not? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Is it a majority we have, we have of them? them. Uh, it's like half, half. Half, half. Yeah. Like from the girls. We have some girls who have underwent the cut mm -hmm. and they because for them it was the worst experience they had. Oh. They want to help others mm -hmm. not to undergo the same. Mm -hmm. So they are very ready to educate them. And mm -hmm. it's also very good to help them because me, I'm not cut mm -hmm. because my culture doesn't practice. Mm -hmm. So yes. It's please don't get cut. No. Well, don't do research like no. that. Like, please <laughs> don't do it. Okay. What's, what's the worst part about it? Is it the actual pain of the day when you're getting cut or is it the, the things that happen after? I hear you can even get complications when it's time to give birth and all this. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's the complications that are going to follow. Mm -hmm. I mean, the cutting itself, it's very horrible and I can't imagine having this, this kind of pain. Mm -hmm. But like in, in future, mm -hmm. you have, uh, I know many, ma actually many girls who have a lot of problems like bad cramps during the period they have problems with fistula mm. with Ooh. yes <laughs> and fistula is so intense yes uh -huh. yes yes and and also like b giving birth if mm -hmm. you have this scarf you can't uh, it's, it's it brings a lot of problems and mm. yeah the girls can also the, like the children can die like we don't have enough things to worry about street postnatal what depression yeah. something yes. something now fg ah, ah, ah. no leave the girl child alone would you like to give a special message to people watching you? First of all, wish them a happy Jammu. It, it will sound yes. nice coming from you. <laughs> from this day. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. And then, yeah, just something special. Because our demographic is largely the youth. Mm -hmm. So 
we are kind of looking up to you. She's very young, actually. She, she, eh? Her CV has made me question my life. Like, what have I been doing with all my years? But it, it's okay. Oh, I see a video. Is that you? Yes, yes, yes. Did you go to confuse those children or to teach them? No, to teach yeah, them. Zungu. <laughs> to teach them. Did they come yes. touch your hair? Uh, like, wow. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but now, you know, they're very used to me. They know uh, me since seven years, so, oh. yes. This yeah, your actually, we have, yeah, we have, um, mm -hmm. that's my team and, uh, yeah, my Kenyan family. Oh. And we also have some volunteers. So they come with different projects mm -hmm. and, yeah, this was our first video. Mm. Um, Who is the guy video. singing, auntie? Hmm? Who are these in the peripherals? Huh? Oh, not this way. <laughs> 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 yeah, and uh, what the musician, he disappeared. He had something on his head. Uh, pull up, pull up, pull up, <laughs> rewind selector. It's okay. So what are we looking at? These are the kids? Yes. Uh -huh. And actually, we have a, a new video. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's, it's going to come out like today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's uh, talking on FGM, sensitizing uh, everyone, because we want to take out mm -hmm. the awareness to the world. Yes. What do you mean new video? Like a music video? Yes. Auntie Hilda, since you were in a recently a music video, we also want to make sense for over here. Yeah, we have beautiful, beautiful girls. We are ready. Oh, you don't need that kind of video? Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right, maybe tell them day. happy Jamohid as we wrap this up. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. I can, I can call upon all girls to mm -hmm. fight for their independence. Like today is the day of independence and Kenya also made it possible. Mm -hmm. So I think every girl is able to, to achieve that. And I can encourage everyone to fight for their rights. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. A journey of of angel. angel. Yeah, this is actually the 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 skit for the new video. Oh. The yeah. Na me act. Wow. Yes. All right. Mm, auntie, what is the substance? It looks like cement dust. Yeah, they apply apply like some flour. For what? Like What's the purpose? To be beautiful. To be beautiful. Yes. So that's like equivalent to makeup. Yes. yes. Why do you know more about my country than me? <laughs> we gotta <laughs> work together now. We we'll go yeah, to Korea yes, together. Sure. Please. You're most welcome. This there is embarrassing. To see our girls and yes. Ah, man, but it's a good thing you're doing. Do people support you back in Germany or do they Very think much you're crazy? They yeah. Yes. They do. You know, we like our aim is to use education mm -hmm. against mutilation. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's our slogan and. Mm -hmm. We really work on the education very much, and mm. this is also what people support. And if they know me personally, and they know I'm also in Kenya, this personal connection brings a lot. Oh, wow. I, I like meeting phenomenal people every day, so I feel very blessed to have met you, man. Thank you, and yes. for everything Thank you're you doing. Too. Thank you. We Thank you. Yeah, well, I hope that, so far it's 160. I know that number is going to multiply as we continue with the years. But guys, eh, Merry Christmas. And you're getting new shoes, babe. All right, <laughs> yes. so say bye. Bye. And social media handles, sorry. Zinduka. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's Zinduka on, on Instagram, on Facebook, yes. On oh, Twitter. Okay. So we can be part of it. Be yes. Can we be yes, part of the yes, process? Yes, yes, yes. You have to be part. Yay. It's you're so most welcome. All right, guys, so Umeskia Zinduka on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all these. Yes, and us, we are at, at Y254 on Facebook, at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Y in the morning. And personally, if you want to slide in some mad ZM, that color me that like Valo Marangi. Thank you so very much for staying with us on this segment. We've been talking about female genital mutilation on this Queen's Wednesday on this Jamuhuri Day. Now, next up is breaking views. And I told you guys, I want you to give some special, special love to Joy, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna give her support. Do you understand? Support and affection and some love. And then let's tell her hi. On, on social media, yeah, do that. Also, later on, we're gonna have a link from j f from the celebrations uh, on the grounds of Nyayo Stadium, so you don't wanna miss that. It's gonna be lit. I saw Auntie at Vivian Degwa looking very fantastic this morning. You don't wanna miss it, okay? I'll see you in a bit.